Look at this cute girl. You know, you know, you know. <laughs> Okay, I hope my fringe is sitting pretty because I don't want to look like what I don't know. So let us start this video. Hey guys, how are you doing? How is your day going? You're yeah, welcome back to my amazing channel. My name is Noya Richie and this is still the Noya Richie Show. If this is your first time of coming across my channel or if this is your first time of seeing my beautiful face Please kindly hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell close to you so that you get more of my videos If this is not your first time you are welcome back today. I would be um, Doing something insightful and something helpful because I've been getting a series of questions about The apps I use on my channel ranging from the apps I use in editing the apps I use in creating my thumbnails the app I use in finding out my watch minutes my watch hours and everything generally so i decided to like do a compilation video of the important and um the top notch and the important apps you must have as a youtuber especially a small youtuber speakers there are lots of apps that you would need as a youtuber there are lots of them uh, but then as your progress you would know about that but for today i'll be just sharing with you the uh, top 10 important apps to have as a youtuber especially small youtubers you know how i do it i always talk for the small youtubers because before we get over there we are already small youtubers and we need to grow to get there so basically yeah i'll be sharing with you guys the top 10 important apps to have as a youtuber and i hope this video helps you in the long run and um yeah so without much ado let's get right into this video the first app i have here or the first app you must have as a youtuber is the youtube app sis sweetheart if you don't have a youtube app then what do you have it's like you in my other video before this well where i did a small youtuber support that was one of the questions i asked and uh, my friend and i answered it but i didn't really elaborate it i just probably like pointed some of them out and i said that in the new video i will be elaborating and talking more on the app for a better understanding if you don't have the youtube app what do you have instagram app no girl you gotta have your youtube app as a youtube it's like you being a farmer and you don't have your whores and your cutlers and your everything so as a youtuber you must have a youtube app youtube app it's amazing it has so many things like i mean i don't even need to explain that far it has so many things you can do there apart from watching other person's videos you know and um, checking out your favorite videos or checking out content you can likely do it's an app where you can also upload your videos before now before i started using another app to upload videos i usually upload my videos via youtube app and i know that some of you all do that too it's good but um at some point you will have to move from uploading your videos via youtube app to uploading your videos via um chrome and that is the second app i'm going to talk about um uploading your video via youtube app it's quite limited you just upload it and then you go you don't put in the necessary things you need to but that is the first app you should definitely have i'm going to put all the logos over here in case you want to download and i'm going to be talking from my iphone and also from android so if you have an iphone and you have an android you can always walk your way around it of course youtube app works both on android and iphone so the second app you should have as a youtuber is a chrome app like the chrome you know the google chrome it's really really helpful why is that is because if you don't have a laptop to upload your videos you can always use your chrome to upload your chrome to upload that is when you type on the chrome app at www.youtube.com it brings out your channel and then when you want to upload you press the uh, desktop site and then it shows you like an interface of a laptop 
that way you can upload your video it has different um stuff like tags you can input your tags you can input your descriptions you can input your title which of course you know that all of this helps your videos to be seen it helps your seo to be seen when someone searches a particular content and your video pops up so the google chrome app it's a must have for youtubers because it helps you to upload your videos the third app i have here is your yt studio guys you have to have your yt studio i'm gonna put it up here yt studio it's really important i've had that app for like the longest time since i had my youtube app because it's really really good when you're done uploading your videos from the google um, google chrome you go to your youtube white studio that place you can add your thumbnail some persons don't know how to add their thumbnails from, from google chrome or from youtube app youtube app doesn't allow you to add your thumbnail so if you have your yt studio it allows you to add your thumbnail there's a place for adding thumbnail and also there you see your watch minute yt studio helps you to see your watch minutes and how far you've gone in your monetization criteria mm -hmm. yt studio helps you to see tags and all of it shows you your views shows you your engagement for those that are monetized shows you your revenue and all of it yt studio is a must have it's like a support system to the youtube app so that is um the third app another app i have here is the yt tracker oh my god that is like one of my favorite apps so far yt tracker but the bad thing about it is that it's for iphone users you cannot see it on android yt tracker is really helpful it's almost like youtube studio but it's an upgraded upgraded version of youtube studio in the sense that yt tracker shows you your watch hours you know everybody wants to see their watch hours before they reach their criteria so yt tracker shows you that shows you your subscriber count that is where you can you can get tags from their video tags to put on your on your videos it shows you your progress so far it shows you a whole lot of stuff it shows you how many videos you've done so far it shows you how many views you have and all of them yt tracker it's really really the bomb i love that another app i have here is the, your imovie as imovie are for um, iphone users imovie is for editing i mean for a youtuber you have you should have a, an app to edit and exactly as i said these apps are for your mobile phones okay you should have imovies to edit um don't worry if you're an android user you're not going to be left out because i would be telling you guys an app to also use in place of um iMovie so I have an iPhone so I use my iMovie although my iMovie is quite limited but it's a good app for you to have as a youtuber because it helps you to edit your videos really really very fast and you're good to go the fifth app I have is the InShot InShot it's also an app for editing videos for both iPhone users and for Android users InShot it's really good and why I like InShot is that InShot it's not quite limited because you can always um, put in your stickers your funny videos your memes and all of that while editing with the InShot it's really really good that is a must app for you to have and um, in place of in short you can also have power directors these are like the three good apps you could use for editing and I hope it works well for you okay I've lost track of the number so I'm just gonna go ahead and point it out the next app for you to have is your email email is quite overrated for sure but you have to have an email because if you don't have an email you wouldn't have an, um, access to a YouTube account so an email definitely gives you an access to your YouTube account and that is where you get all your newsletters that's where you get information about whatever that's happening on YouTube that's where they send you your your criteria um, what you're doing if you've reached your criteria um, anything related to YouTube you should have a YouTube um, a Gmail account so that it can be connected to your YouTube that is quite overrated but it's a must-have for every youtuber although it's not mostly used but it's like the first thing you should have before you have um, a YouTube account the next video, um, app you should have as a youtuber is photo grid for editing um, thumbnails I know I know I know most persons don't use it but I use it and I think it's a must-have for small youtubers photo grid it's helpful for creating thumbnails and it's actually very easy to create thumbnails once you take your pictures you could use your photo grid to put your pictures and your text together and create 
an amazing thumbnail maybe i'm gonna make a video on how to create amazing thumbnails but basically this one is just for the apps you should have another app you can also you should have as a youtuber is canva canva is like an upgraded version of photo grid in the sense that canvas helps you to create banners helps you to create channel art helps you to create bomb and amazing um thumbnail because it has templates there you could use canvas it's like really really late it apart from youtube it shows you it helps you to create instagram posts you know there are different templates there it's really really nice it's amazing that is a must have for every youtuber another um app you should have is tubebuddy tubebuddy it's almost like um yt tracker but limited version to body also helps you shows you your subscribers shows you your milestones your comments your videos and all of them as a youtuber you can always navigate around all these apps that shows you all your progress so far so you should have a tube body another app you should have is snapseed snapseed is also very important it's like a photo grid but not really like photo grid snapseed is good why I use Snapseed is that the um, app that makes your pictures like really really so cool like really really like the bomb so how I use that is that I edit a picture I want to use for my thumbnail first on my Snapseed I do all the brightening thingy the face removal sports and all of it then take it to my photo grid and then create an amazing thumbnail so Snapseed is good for editing pictures and then creating an amazing thumbnails and i think that is almost like the end of the video yeah another one here and the last but not the least is pick monkey pick monkey is also good for creating thumbnails there are so many apps for creating thumbnails it's good for creating thumbnails there are templates there there are lots of things you know channel ads banners and all of it and all these are very helpful for every youtuber so that is basically the must have apps you should have as a small youtuber and i hope this video has actually tried to answer your questions and i hope it helps you in the long run if there are, as i said there are millions of apps trust me there are millions of apps you could use as a youtuber and if you have any apps that i didn't mention here that you've been using that is also helpful for you please drop in the comment section because people could also learn or catch one or two things that you know that could help them so till i call you away next time bye